Hey guys, this is Martin Perdomo, the Elite Strategist, and you're listening to Latinos in Real Estate Investing Podcast and or watching us on YouTube. And the numbers are out, guys. It is July 13th, and the Consumer Price Index, the government put out the numbers for inflation for year to date, and they're higher than expected, guys. It's going to get uglier than we expected. I'm going to unpack all of that and my thoughts, what I think and what I'm doing and how we're moving, how we're strategizing, and how some of my friends and people in my network are moving and what they're doing. This is serious, right? This stuff is, is real serious stuff. I'm going to go right here. Food at home, 10.4%. That means, guys, that I your value of your dollar, that of your earnings is lost value by 10.4% every time you go to the supermarket. My wife tells me all the time, we buy at BJ's because we have a big family. And she tells me all the time, she's like, babe, I, 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 I like bought half of the stuff that I used to buy a year ago and I'm spending more food away from home, 12.2%. Have you been to a restaurant lately? The cost of food while eat, eating out. We're going to look at energy. Energy is 41.6% and it breaks it down. Gas prices, gasoline, all types, 59.9%. Fuel, 98.5%. Those are the things that are killing us right now. Energy, electric is up 13.7% everything's going up how does this impact us how does this impact us as investors what does this do to us our dollar is not taking us as far we're losing to inflation if you're not investing your money and you're and it's sitting in the bank account you're losing to inflation because you're not getting nine percent return on your money so how does this affect us right what does this affect next week the feds come out and they're gonna raise the rates by 75 basis points and the cost to borrow money for a buyer of a home or, or you to borrow money the, the cost to borrow money goes up so i believe we're in a recession already they haven't come out and said it and i believe we're in in stagflation because we're seeing negative growth in our economy and we're seeing the cost of goods going up, right? The one key thing that's holding things together is that unemployment is still very low. And when unemployment is as low as it is, they can't call it, right? So, so unemployment seems to be strong, although those numbers are going to come out soon. And we'll see a lot of big employers are starting to lay off. And when that starts to happen, there's going to be some blood in the streets. So there's going to be some things changing. There's going to be some of this talent that's out there. There's this war on talent. If you're a business owner, you know what I'm talking about. What should you be doing? How should you be planning? You should be looking at assets that increase when inflation happens, right? This is one of the reasons I love real estate. What happens to my single family flipping business when interest rates are going up? I'm going to have to lower my prices. That means my profit goes down and it's not the best business model to be in when interest rates are going up. That means that now I'm in a market where the prices are going down now the market's totally switched on me and it's 10% lower, man. That that can hurt me, right? That can hurt me. Rents are going to continue to go up because all this inventory is going on the market. It's going to have a major impact on us because now we're going to have to lower prices. Well, what happens to those people now that are not buying because they can't afford it? Now they're going to go rent. Maybe the house of the values of single families go down the rent prices are going to continue to go up because consumers are going to go back to, hey, I'm going to renew my lease. I'm going to maybe just move to another place. I'm not going to buy right now. I believe the gist of it is that inflation is good for those that have assets and inflation is horrible for people that are uh, that don't have assets. Put yourself in a place where you can be the asset owner and not the one contributing to being just a consumer. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys listening. Thank you for being here. Really, really grateful. If you like this channel and you appreciate this type of content, give us a thumbs up. If you're listening to us, drop us a, a, a positive review. We really would appreciate it. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you soon. Best of luck to you out there. Peace out. So guys, if you like this video you just watched, click on this video up here. It might be something you might like. And guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace out.